everybody, we're back. Yeah. I gotta click in the screen here. And uh, we're starting a new game. Well, Kate. it's a new game for well, for, yeah. for Kate, not for me. Well, yeah. I've never done this before. I mean, new for the channel, stupid. Well, okay. Yeah, you got me there. No, I played this, um, the original Deja Vu I played on the NES. Um, a couple times, I think like my cousin had it, I never had it. So I played around with it, but it, it didn't really do a lot for me because I was like six. Uh, you select Casebook 1 for the first game. Oh. That makes sense. So, I played Deja Vu 1 a little it bit. It's like Freddy Krueger. And this collection oh. came out on Game Boy Color, and I got it, and I kind of got hooked on it. You awake from a day stupor that feels like a very bad headache after a long and extremely unlucky week spent in Vegas. That doesn't seem like the right voice. You should narrate. Yeah, I'm trying to think. What's a good film noir kind of... You awake oh. from a drunken... Oh, not drunken. You awake from a dazed stupa. Like old-timey... There we go. That'll work. Old-timey radio guy. All right. On to the next. This is a Ghost Hunters. Taking inventory of yourself, you notice your right hand is covered with blood, though strangely, you neither see nor feel any wounds. Huh. That must mean it might not be mine. Like my film noir? Feeling a sharp pain in your left forearm... I'm turning English. You roll up your sleeve. A small puncture gives you pause. And it's weird having pause, because you're not a bear. That's... that's awful. Have I been giving something you mutter? Hearing a voice which sounds strange to your ears. I don't know who I am anymore! With dawning horror, you realize you don't remember who you are. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like it's turning into Fred Schneider from the B-52s. You don't, you've no idea why you're here. Shoo -doo -doo -doo. Or even where here is. Shoo -doo -doo. Everything's a hazy blank. Ooh. A hazy blank. <laughs> Ooh, a hazy blank. You've no memory whatsoever. There goes a narwhal. <laughs> so yeah, so basically it's, um... There's the different icons there, so there's like, the eye is for looking, the hand grabbing a thing is for taking something. So I, you want to examine everything, is the basic rule of this game. So, so click on the eye icon and then click on whatever you want to examine. It's a light brown trench coat that matches your trousers. We're in England now where they say trousers because pants is a rude word. Yes. You feel something in the pocket of the coat. It's a sonic screwdriver! does look very Tenth Doctor. So, you want to look in the pocket. I'm going to grab it. Yeah, but then you'll want to see what's in the pocket. You take the coat. There's nothing more handy than a 38 at your side. So you'll want to take the gun, too. How do I get the gun? You... Oh, it's there. There you go. Yeah, so you just... You take the 38. Now, remember, he said it feels like there's something in the coat. So, click, see where the open door? The open door icon there? There you go. Go down. And try to open the coat. I'm gonna open up this coat. You open the pocket. Now, you wanna take anything out that's in there because this all could be stuff that comes from handy. I can't do that. No, you gotta take it. You're still on open. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna take seven coins for seven brothers. I don't think that's right. No, that was... He didn't have seven brides in his pocket. Yeah, but I'm going to pay them off instead of taking the women. Because it? that's rude. I don't even know what voice you're trying to do anymore. Shut up. At first, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, so I have to go back? Like so you've the, got to go back into the coat. Here, can I show you? The pocket is open. Yes. You've got a few different... There you go. See? you got to scroll through different menus there. I'm gonna take this lighter, just in case I need to set anything on fire, honey. That's that was what I was doing, and then I started turning into the mid-Atlantic. Ring a ding ding. Ring a ding ding. I quit smoking, so I need some gum. You can't smoke gum. No, it's to chew. Oh, I thought you said you could smoke. It. No, I said I quit smoking. Take the hanky in case I need to blow my nose. In case I'm covered in boogers. 
Did they have sunglasses back then? Yes, they did. Now the wallet, you're going to want to open that too. I'm going to open this wallet, honey. I'm going to take... Well, I want to open the key. Wait, how, what did I do? You're scrolling through all the different menus here. How do I do that? How? Go the other way. Here. I don't know what I was doing. I'm just pressing... Oh, there we go. There you go. Wallet. And don't forget to examine the stuff that's in there, too, because you don't know what that card is. You don't know what that key is. You want to look at it and see... I what... will! I just want to take it all first. Can I do that? $20. That's like $100 back then. Yeah. Now, if you want to make sure you look cool... Put click, on the sunglasses. Click the... Yeah, hit use. The, right. That wrench, that icon there. Yeah, that's it. Now go to the trench coat. Now go to the coat in your inventory. Huh? Oh, wow. No, the, the item coat. There you go. Now click the coat. Now go up. Ah, uh, no. Can't in the second wear it. game, you can, like, I think you can, like, use coat on self, and it would, uh, you know. What would you like to use this on? My so face. Go up. And then use the icon with your face on it there. Top right. Ah. You are unable to put them on. Why? Oh. Because I have amnesia and I don't know how sunglasses work. Did and, they go on my butt? And you're missing ears. Well, that's true, too. Oh, they're too big. Oh. How are sunglasses too big? Oh, they're, maybe they're lady sunglasses. Or maybe they're my sunglasses. Because I got a big head. No, that's... I can wear your sunglasses. Alright. So, take a look at... Take a look at that card and that key. Because you might want to know what... Where do, where do they go? You've got more oh, than one page. It's there still, you go. Um, I've never played this before. I'm getting used to it. It's a key with the word office inscribed on it. It's card with several holes punched into it. Written across the bottom are the words private access penthouse seagull. Like Jason Seagull or... Yeah, Jason Seagull. So I guess take a look around the, the bathroom stall. I just wanted to make sure it was a $20 bill. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a counterfeit. It's a full roll of toilet paper. So whatever you've been doing, you probably haven't been pooping. It tends to come in handy in surroundings like these. Yeah, this game has a kind of a funny sense of humor. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual. It looks like a typical ceiling light. It's a door that leads out of the washroom, and most likely into trouble. Ooh! So. <laughs> I want to put the door in my pocket! You have to open the door. Shut up. You open the door. Ooh, lovely green tile. The door is open! I'm gonna punch it. Punch it. Wham! Your hand impacts with a sharp stab of pain and then goes numb. <laughs> I want to kiss. What do you think you are doing? That's actually for talking. Shush. Put the toilet paper in the trash. Okay. How do I move? So you what? click the foot icon, and then you click... That's, like, sort of your map there with that, that square. See, any squares could represent areas you can look in. This washroom really needs a good cleaning. No, make that a good fumigation. I'm gonna check myself out in the mirror. Ah! Oh he God. looks like Kru Freddy Krueger. You see yourself in the mirror. The ragged face of a stranger stares back. You still can't remember who you are. But I have a strange hankering to slaughter some children while they're sleeping. It appears to be a sink. Rust stains show where the water constantly drips. I'm gonna wash my hands. Whoops. 
I can't wash my hands? No, you can't wash your hands. But I'm a dirty boy! It's bad considering you're covered in blood. Yeah, seriously. I'm gonna take it with me. Wash. Nope. Wrench. You had to open the door. Sorry! You open the door. You can also click, if once you hit the walk icon, you can click in the open door to walk into that. I'm gonna do that. You're in a dingy hallway. It looks like the Happiness Hotel. Ooh, there's blue cotton candy on the floor. I think that's blue. Shut up. There's a puddle on the floor. Someone had an accident. Someone's very well hydrated if the water is just perfectly clear. Apparently a woman had an accident. I'm going in the ladies' washroom because I can. Washroom. There's womanly things. See, there's no cracks in the wall. Yeah. It's nicer in here. We take care of things, not like you men. This, <laughs> it appears to be a sink that is much cleaner than the one in the other. You were saying? A faint white film covers the mirror. It's as grimy as the rest of the place. It looks cleaner than the other room. Take a look in the trash can. I'm going in there. It's a large metal waste basket. It looks wood to me. Nothing's in there. I guess there's something in there. I'm gonna peep. Oh, scandalous! I'm a creep. The door is open. Ew. Ew, what is it on the wall? Is that blah, blah, blah? I think it might be like rust from where the ceiling is. it just me or does it look like there's a. It looks like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> there's his eyes. There's Hi ho, Kermit the John here. <laughs> just want to make sure it works. Oh, wait. This button. I can't flush the toilet? I'll try to open it. I did. It's not letting me. No, you... On use. Not open. On take. No, you're on... Again, you're on take. You want to open it. Oh! Oh! You are relieved that you find nothing floating inside! <laughs> this looks like a face down here. Well, that's good. Rust. No? So, I guess I can go back? Yeah, go back. How do I yeah. go back? Uh, hit the foot, hit the foot button. Foot. And then click on the orange. Yeah. I got sick. Except for this big puddle of water on here. You open the door. Ooh, funky tile. I like Ooh, it. Funky cold Medina. You're in what seems to be a dark, empty restaurant. Ooh, I like the music. It's either closed or else you scared everyone away with your hideous appearance. Oh look, here's some polyjuice potion to turn me into someone else. Harry Potter? Yes. He has not read Harry Potter, and I can't get him to read it, and I hate him a little bit for it. You take the seltzer. Since when is seltzer green? It's some of that uh, organic seltzer. 
seltzer with kale in it. Ew. Through the window, you see an empty street with no one in sight. They're all dead. It's the apocalypse. It's the front door of the restaurant. I'm gonna open this door. You open the door. Thank you for that commentary. I would never be lost without you. <gasps> Ooh, this is my favorite place. Spiders. Open the tab. Woo! Look at the wine! I'm going to drink it. <laughs> Who are you speaking to? I'm speaking to the spigot saying, Get in my mouth! Try looking at it. A barrel is set up against the wall. Rows and rows of dusty bottles line this rack. One of the bottles has the right hand side. Wait. One of the bottles on the right hand side appears to be unusually clean. They all look the same to me, but I'm gonna guess this one. Probably. Because it's all by itself and they want me to grab it. You can't take it, but I can look at it. You notice a lack of dust. How peculiar. I'm gonna... What do you think you are doing? I'm trying to have a drink! That's what I think I'm doing. It's the kind of light you'd expect to find in a cellar. You are mesmerized by the intricate design of the spider web. It says some pig. Some pig? Yeah, Charlotte's Web. Oh, I never read Charlotte's Web. Alright, you can't get on me about not reading Harry Potter if you've never read Charlotte's Web. That's not even the same thing. Uh, yeah, Charlotte's Web is a classic that's been around for decades longer. Yeah, well, I know she dies. Everybody knows that. Spoilers! She was delicious, too. <laughs> Ew. Wham! Except, no, I was thinking Charlotte was the pig. Because I haven't read it since I was in, like, second grade. No, Charlotte's the spider. Yeah. This room is empty. What's this? I'm gonna go out the front door. It must be locked. I can solve this. Well, you're useless. What are all these things? Those are all different directions you can walk. Oh. Oh, I was already in here. I'm gonna go here. I can't be... What? That's the door out to the front, I think. Oh, let me go back. Yeah. yeah. What, what's going on You here? went into the ladies' room again. No, this is the men's room. Or the men's room, right. Yeah, click on the stairs. That's where I wanted to go. I thought that's where I came from. Woo! Private! You notice some faded posters of old boxers covering the walls. Maybe they have a cauliflower ear. A wave of intense pain causes you to reel. You catch your fish before you black out. You catch your fish? See, it says to reel. Oh. You catch, get it? Ah! Funny joke! When the episode passes, you grow concerned that time might be running out for you. Speaking of, we might want to give it a break here. Well, I want to finish this. The constant pain in your head is only getting worse. You feel like you better do something, or this might be the end of the road for you. <gasps> We're gonna leave you on a cliffhanger! Yep. Can't 
we'll see you next time on The Thing Behind the Private Door or something. With all the boxers! <gasps> Maybe there's a boxer in there! Or two boxing of donuts! Or a boxer like a dog. Or... I don't know where I was going with that. Or we'll the see Simon and Garfunkel song The Boxer is being performed by Simon and Garfunkel. All right, that's enough from you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, if you like my videos, why not give it a like and subscribe? You can check out some of my other videos here, and if you have your own YouTube channel, why not check out the Freedom Network, which is the one I'm on. Have a good one.